All right, this is your brother Aishayar coming at you with another lesson. First off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles of the great millstone, which I learned this truth from. Honors to the elders and brothers out there pushing this word through the four corners of the earth within truth and sincerity. And shalom to the aquas that's listening and learning. Today's video is going to be entitled, Damn, People Out Here Really Don't Know. <laughs> Damn, people out here really don't know, all right? And I'm gonna have this picture right here. That's from the cartoon Ed, Ed and Nettie, because this is this is exactly how I feel. You know, he's looking at out the window, and he's looking out at, at all the people in disgust. All right, like damn, y'all really out here wilding out like this. You know, this meme went viral. Uh, you know, it's everywhere. You know, people made different uh, pictures and created different art to put their faces on this instead of his and everything. But anyway. I really got inspired to do this lesson because I was on Facebook and um, I'm friends with a few brothers on Facebook, but you know, uh, I never post anything as far as the truth anymore because I've learned my lesson when it comes to sharing the truth on uh, Facebook and everything like that. It causes a lot of attention. It causes a lot of uh, so-called arguments uh, back and forth and everything like that because, you know, I'm still friends with family and other co-workers and everything like that and um i was like man i'm gonna stop doing this man i'm gonna stop sharing the truth on facebook you know because it just gets it gets out of hand and then you know you run into people in real life and they treat you differently they look at you differently and everything like that and as the scriptures say you know don't let your left hand know what your right hand is doing you know and we don't have to let everybody know that we're israelites all right we don't have to do that all right all we got to do is upload the videos, go out to the highways and the byways. The most high is going to have everything else come into play, all right? The, the power of the unicorn is going to do the heavy lifting, you know, because once the videos go up and, they, you know, they upload, the most high is going to have these videos hit the ears of the elect, okay? But, like I said, I really got inspired to do this lesson because it's this one brother. Well, I won't even call him a brother because I don't know him personally or anything like that. But he sent me a friend request and everything like that. And I accepted it because, you know, he was sharing scriptures and everything. So I'm like, okay, cool. You know, but I never really spoke to him, you know, like on uh, Messenger or whatever the case may be. You know, uh, I just saw him post scriptures. He'll post certain things about the angels and Yahweh Shai. And he said he'll say the names or whatever. And I'm like, okay, cool. But certain things that i see from this certain individual he'll post things about gms he uh recently came out with a uh, post where he was like uh apostle raka is the uh, uh, house of saul he's a murderer because of the things that apostle raka was saying in his last video as far as uh gmo babies is concerned and how, he, how he's getting tired of them and if he could he would get rid of them himself but he knows that he has to wait for the lord to come back all right and this dude used that clip, you know, as if Apostle Rakan was getting ready to go out and commit murder today or something, or go out and kill today or something like that. But that wasn't even the case. All right. And then he always he, he posts things saying that uh, GMS is in trouble, this and that, so forth and so on. And so when I see things like this, I'm just like, okay, I know not to interact with this dude because... I follow the apostles of GMS. I follow their doctrine because their doctrine makes all the sense in the world. Okay? It makes all the sense in the world, especially when it comes down to the MOTV. The main prophecy that these other Israelite can't, camps can't understand. They can't understand it, man. And like I said, every time you get to the buying and selling part, they can't get they can't come up with an answer or uh on what that is talking about. They always just say, yeah, uh, the MOTB is sin, it's, it's John 3, 16, or whatever the case may be, but they never have an answer for the buying and selling part, all right? And so when I see things like, yeah, GMS in trouble, this and that or whatever, I'm just like, man, here we go. And this is one of the reasons why, like I said, I stopped posting things on Facebook as, as far as the truth is concerned. I'm like, I ain't got time for this. Because I almost got to the point where I was going to leave a comment. I was going to ask him, like, what doctrine do you follow? But then I was like, you know what? I ain't even finna put myself in that position. And it ain't no no need for it. All right? If he has this whole little Facebook page and he's doing these posts and 
letting everybody, you know, follow or whatever, and people is agreeing with them, let them do it. Let those people agree with them, and then, you know, in the end times that we're living in, we're going to see which Israelite camp was right. And we already know which one it is, all right? We know which Israelite camp out here has it 100% correct. So at the end of the day, like I said, when I saw that, I'm just like, all right, I'm leaving this dude alone. I really don't care. You know, go ahead and do what you want to do. And I was like, well, I'm just going to go ahead and speak on this because, like I said, as the title of the video is, damn, people out here really don't know. Speaking to you Israelites, man, a lot of y'all don't know what the MOTB is. A lot of y'all don't know what blasphemy, the Holy Spirit, and what blasphemy is uh, as far as it being a, a, a separate thing, two separate things. A lot of the people out here that claim that they're in the truth, man, you know, they don't study a lot, man. People still out here talking about if you don't wear fringes at all times, then you are, you're not a man of the Lord. <laughs> what? I want to see people do that, man. Go to work with your fringes on. People going to ask questions. People going to ask questions. Like I said, when I first came into this truth, of course, of course, you have that zeal. You have the spirit upon you to the point where you want to tell everybody about it because you came into a great understanding, okay? You want to tell your family members like, hey, man, God is only for us. You want to tell your friends, hey, God is only for us. You know, and then when you go to work, you see an Edomite or whatever, you know, you want to make a conversation with them. You're like, yeah, I want to tell you that you're going into slavery. I want to tell you about what's getting ready to happen in the world and everything like that. I've lived that life, man. I remember going to work and speaking to my manager about certain things and I bring out scriptures and everything like that. And the thing is, he knew I was telling the truth because he was an Edomite. He knew I was telling the truth and he had me sit in his office for a while, man. <laughs> he was very interested in everything that I was saying. But the thing is, he knew that I was a part of his life. So now he can use this as a bait, man. He can use that ammo just in case I do something that goes off. Uh, for him okay so at the end of the day i'm just like okay can't be doing this man don't be letting everybody know that you're israelite just go ahead and go to work blend in with the world and then after that when you go home you study you upload the videos then on this camp day you go out there and do what you got to do because one thing that these other israelite camps don't seem to understand is this is only for the elect the elect is going to be the only people that's going to understand this. You don't have to push this down everybody's throats like it's Jehovah Witness. You ain't got to do that, man. All right. So let me read the scripture first before I continue to uh, speak. All right. We're going to go to uh, Matthew 13 and 10. That's one thing that these Israelite camps don't seem to understand. This is only for the elect. This is Matthew chapter. Hold on. 13. And we're going to start at verse 10. And it says, And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? He answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. This is one of the reasons why Yahweh Shai was speaking to other Israelites in parables, because he didn't want them to get it, because he already knew they wasn't going to understand this truth. Yahweh Shai knew only a few people will understand what he's talking about. Why? Because they're reborn again. They have a new spirit upon them. Verse 12, it says, For whosoever hath to him shall be given, and he shall have more abundance. But whosoever hath not from him shall be taken away, even that he hath. Therefore speak I to them in parables, because they sing, see not, and hearing they hear not, neither do they understand. They can't get it. And in them fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, which says, By hearing you shall hear, and shall not understand, and seeing you shall see, and shall not perceive. For this people's heart is wax gross, and their ears are dull of hearing. In their eyes they have closed, lest at any time they should see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and shall understand with their heart, and should be converted, and I shall heal them. I should heal them. A lot of people out there are not converted. They still live in the world, but they have this Israelite understanding, so to speak. All right. They know that they're Israelites, but they're still living according to the way that they grew up in this society. And that's the uh, scary part about the situation. Like I said, people are, are not reborn again. Verse 16, it says, but blessed are your eyes, for they see and your ears, for they hear. Yeah, just like we understand what the MOTV is. 
That's a blessing, man, because as soon as the MOTV is mandatory, we know what to do. We know not to take it. These other Israelite camps out here, unless they understand what the MOTV is, they're going to take it and they're going to real and they're going to see that that's going to be their demise, man. They're not going to make it. Verse 17, it says, Verily I say unto you that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which you see and have not seen them, and to hear those things which you hear and have not heard them. There's a lot of people that want to understand what we're in. They want to learn. They want to see what we see. But the Most High is not allowing them to see, man. He doesn't want them to be a part of this truth. And he doesn't want a lot of so-called Israelites to, that's in the truth to understand his truth, man. At all. Like I said, a lot of people are not converted. One of the ways you can tell if you're converted and you're reborn again, like I give an example for myself. When I first came into the truth, I kind of, you know, was, I would say, I wouldn't say rushed into it, but I heard, you know, uh, I heard um, one of the elders speak and uh, the, my, the brother that I teach with right now, he showed me a video of the true names of God and his son and everything like that. And I was interested in it. And he first started off with showing me videos of like 9-11 and truth about that, so forth and so on, right? And then uh, he eased it into the truth. And I was interested in that. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. And then uh, pretty much I would say, man, it, it was as quick. Probably like a month later, he was just like, man, you should come to camp with us and everything like that. And I was just like, okay. But before then, I wasn't even reading. You know, I wasn't reading or anything like that. So when I went out there, you know, I stood there or whatever. And, um, you know, the brothers would just give me scriptures to read and everything like that. And I'd be like, OK, and I was just a reader. That's all I was or whatever, you know. But I still would just go back home and just pretty much just chill or whatever. You know, I wasn't really getting into it, getting into it like that. But the more and more I started hanging out with the brothers and started seeing what was going on, I'm like, oh, OK, well, I need to start you know studying and looking at videos and whatever so you know i was looking at videos and doing that but you know uh it was still a lot of things that i didn't understand of course because you know i'm new in the truth and everything like that and then you know fast forward all i was doing was just going out there you know and, and reading and everything like that but the more and more i went into the future it was more things that was starting to be revealed to me through the power and spirit of yahweh by shimmy i was shy that you know even uh camps didn't teach me and i'm not saying that uh you know i didn't learn anything from the brothers or the apostles or anything like that but you know i'm just over here reading and certain things that's revealed to me through the spirit i'm like oh snap and i would speak on it and nobody uh told me i was going off you know and then i looked up certain videos and um i would see the same thing that uh being said by other brothers all right and then at the end of the day like i said i just felt it within my spirit like man you know this is what being in this truth is all about you know because like i said i was pretty much just going out there reading and that's what one of the things that apostle Zahar used to say all the time he was like a lot of y'all just go out there and just read and just to speak but y'all don't know what y'all talking about or what y'all even doing when you out there okay a lot of people don't understand what they're involved in. Another thing that Apostle Gabar would say all the time, okay? So I'm just like, man, you know, the water, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, for revealing things to me and having me really understand what this truth is all about. A lot of people don't know what this truth is all about, man. They don't know the seriousness of the situation. Let's get Romans um, chapter 11, and we're going to go to verse 5. It says, even so then at this present time also there is a remnant according to the election of grace and if by grace then is it no more of works otherwise grace is no more grace but if it be of works then is it no more grace otherwise work is no more work what then israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for but the election have obtained it and the rest were blinded see it all, all, it always goes down to the elect. Only the elect is gonna understand this truth. Everybody else is gonna be blinded, man. That's why I'm like, damn. People out here really don't know. People don't know what the MOTV is. It's still Israelites out there. They're only saying that only black people are the uh, twelve tribes, man. It's a lot of madness that's going on. Just like the new madness that's happening. People out here really um, teaching that hell exists. 
<laughs> you know, that's one of the first things you learn when you come into the truth that hell is not an actual place. Now you got Israelites out here talking about you go to a place where you burn forever. And you can easily break that down with uh, through the spirit, man. Everybody knows hell means either the ground or a condition. That's all it is. I want to see how what people will say then when they have to break down the uh, the parable of Lazarus. Uh, Lazarus. A lot of people wouldn't understand that, man, because a lot of people use that scripture to say, like, here, here it is. This is talking about hell. No, it's not talking about hell, man. It's speaking about the heathen nations and Esau beating down Israel and keeping them like that. Like I said, a lot of people do not know what they're involved in. A lot of people don't study. A lot of people don't really consider like I said, the seriousness of the situation. Verse 8, it says, According as it is written, the Most High given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear until this day. And David said, Let their table be made a snare, and a trap, and a stumbling block, and a recompense unto them. Let their eyes be darkened, that they may not see, and bow down their back always. All right? So, at the end of the day, the most high setting a lot of you all up, man, because a lot of you all cannot understand this truth. And a lot of you all don't want to come out of the understanding or the so-called understanding that you have. You want to continue to live within that worldly sense. You want to continue to live uh, according to your own ways of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man. But the scriptures say that the heart is deceitful. Like I said, if you really still pushing that, that fringes thing... <laughs> If you're still pushing that fringes thing and you really need to keep uh, looking down at your shirt to be reminded of the commandments, statutes, and laws, you need to reevaluate yourself, man. Because, yeah, we the border of blue and the fringes is supposed to help us remember the commandments, statutes, and laws. Yeah, that's what it represents. But through the spirit, though, through your heart, all right, through, your, through, the, through the understanding that you have, you shouldn't need to look down at your shirt to be reminded about the lord man <laughs> you shouldn't have to do that every single day you get up you should easily just be thinking about the lord easily think about the commandments that to the laws easily think about rehearsing the righteous acts or doing what you're supposed to do you shouldn't have to look down at your shirt all day this is why the scriptures say we are not going to be saved by keeping the law we're going to be saved by faith you see when you live by faith you believe Believing is what? Having hope in something that we have not seen yet. Something that you feel spiritually inside. So if you need something physically to be around you at all times, like I said, you need to look in the mirror and pray, man. It shouldn't take that. You should easily just feel the fear of the Lord. Easily think about the ways of the Lord. Think about the prophecy. Think about what's going on, what you're involved in, and live according to that. But, like I said, I keep saying it, the name of the video, damn, people out here really don't know. <laughs> they really don't know. Let's get Jeremiah 14 and 14. And it says, Then the Lord said unto me, The prophets prophesy lies in my name. I sent them not, neither have I commanded them, neither spake unto them. They prophesy unto you a false vision and divination and a thing of naught and the deceit of their heart see the deceit of their heart a lot of these so-called teachers out here don't even know that they're deceiving the masses because they believe that the holy spirit is upon them they're the leaders of israel they're the ones who's waking up the people and telling them the whole the, telling them the truth they're the ones that's bringing in all the viewers on youtube and making all the money so forth and so on man they don't even know that they're deceiving a lot of people. It's a lot of people that's going to be brand new in this truth, even when things start to go down. And they're going to easily look towards their leaders, the ones that they feel like are the ones that actually is leading them to the point where they can reach salvation. It's going to be because there's going to be a lot of people that's going to be brand new and they're going to be like, man, well, this makes all the sense in the world. He's telling me to do this. He's telling me to do that. So I'm going to do it. A lot of you people out there telling y'all telling y'all uh, followers, you can take the MOTV because you don't believe in a chip. It's going to be <laughs> literally it's going to be hell to pay, man, because once that nuclear destruction hit, that fire is going to hit a lot of you people out there, man. 
point blank period because there's false prophets out here giving you a false vision and divination a thing of naught which means nothing a lot of them out there are just out there to tell you nothing man they're not telling you something that could be fulfilled or have a fulfillment within you they're out there just leading you astray man so you can fall into the ditch with the rest of the people this is why you got to be careful on who you follow who you listen to and you're supposed to pray that you are uh being led in the, in the right direction okay let's get one last scripture to close it out let's get some, in the book of Sirach, chapter 19 and we're going to start at 18. it says the fear of the lord is the first step to be accepted of him and wisdom obtaining his love all right the fear of the lord is the first step to be accepted of him a lot of you all do not fear the lord you can tell because a lot of you all don't even trust in the lord if you got to go to camp with weapons you don't trust in the lord doesn't the lord create all situations doesn't the lord get his men out of dangerous situations doesn't the lord put you in great situations doesn't the lord give you the strength to even speak about the scriptures like i said a lot of you all don't have that fear man so you won't be accepted because you don't have any wisdom that's leading you in the right way verse 19 it says the knowledge of the commandments of the lord is the doctrine of life and they that do things that please him shall receive the fruit of the tree of immortality the first fruits which is the elect they're going to have their bodies changed and they're going to be the ones that reach immortality first because there's going to be a lot of men and women you know the elect that's going to be saved and they're not going to taste of death like the scriptures say a lot of us are not even going to die that's crazy to think about why because we followed the right doctrine verse 20 it says the fear of the lord is all wisdom and in all wisdom is the performance of the law and the knowledge of its omnipotency all right it says if a servant say to his master i will not do as it pleaseth thee though afterward he do it he angereth him that nourisheth him all right a lot of you all still believe in getting tattoos a lot of you all still believe in having long hair <laughs> as a man <laughs> all right a lot of you all still out there getting linings it's israelites out there that's on the low still eating pork still smoking still celebrating holidays still celebrating your birthday you all are not reborn again man you are not ready to fight the true fight of yahweh bashem yahweh shah yet okay you're doing things that's gonna that's angering your creator all right because yahweh shah yahweh bashem yahweh shah said do these things you and you're supposed to be a servant right but you're like no nah, i'm gonna do it this way i'm this no doing this one it's talking about the scripture the long hair it's talking about this it's talking about that so that means you adding and subtracting from the scriptures and the scriptures and you know you have a already said what's going to happen to you if you do that you're supposed to bring the scriptures out for what they say but like i said at the end of the day a lot of people don't want to do that man because a lot of people are still in the world and they don't want to change they want to keep one foot in the world and look like an israelite at the same time you can't do that man but like the scriptures say either you're going to serve you can't serve your master and the lord man you got to pick and ultimately ain't no picking if you're not following the lord 100 percent, then you're in the world and you're not gonna make it all right so <laughs> so this is what it is man this is what a lot of you <laughs> this is how i'm looking at a lot of y'all man this is how i'm looking at a lot of y'all like damn these people out here really don't know these people out here really talking about these things doing these things it's gonna be a wild day man when when shit started hitting the fan man so hey i'm gonna end it with that you know uh <laughs> like i said i just saw the little post <coughs> so i like can i just saw the little post on facebook or whatever i'm just like huh man you know certain things you be like you don't even you don't need even need to address it but other things you just be like sometimes you just be like well i'm gonna go ahead and speak about it because you know man's going to the lord how can a man then understand his own way the most high is going to have you speak on certain things and do certain things you know so it is what it is so i'm gonna end it with that and i hope this was edifying so with that i'm gonna say call halayim yahweh bahasham yahweh shai bahasham rakah kadash double honor to the apostles of the great millstone which i learned is truth from honors to the elders and brothers out there pushing this word to the four corners of the earth 
with their truth and sincerity. And shalom to the Aquas that's listening and learning. And Yahweh Rats is out. I'll be back with another lesson. Keep pushing, Yasharala. Keep pushing. We almost out of here. Shalom.